Here in Columbus on the Minor League Magazine show, we are joined by Clippers slugger Russ Kanzler. And Russ, first of all, thanks for taking some time with us. Take us through this 2012 season for you so far. There have been some valleys, but obviously some peaks as well. Yeah, uh, you know, I didn't get off to the, the best start like I would have wished for uh, in April and, and parts of May, but uh, I think I was just putting a little too much pressure on myself at the beginning of the season. Uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to have a good year in this in this league last year with Durham, and yeah, I think I tried to uh, repeat that year in one month, it seemed like. Uh, this game's, the game's pretty hard the way it is, and I think when you uh, try to add a little more pressure on yourself, that makes it even harder, and I was definitely guilty of that. You're coming off of that International League MVP season with Durham that you made reference to, and then you were traded to the Indians. What was that like? What went through your mind when you found out you were coming to a new organization after such a great year? Uh, yeah, it was definitely a surprise for me, but uh, I was really excited. Um, uh, a guy that I played high school baseball with, Kyle Landis, is a pitcher in, uh, in AA. So uh, I talked to him right away, and I said, man, what are, what are the odds? You know, we're in the same organization now. Uh, anytime you join a new organization, uh, it's, it's an exciting thing, especially when you've been traded for. You know, uh, a team's hungry for you. They're hungry to, uh, to bring you in. And uh, I got a great opportunity in camp. I thought I handled myself pretty well, and, uh, and, I'm, and I'm fortunate enough to get uh, every day at bats here in AAA. Triple A can be an interesting place when it comes to the success of a team because a lot of times you have a team with a lot of talent, but if the clubhouse doesn't mesh right, if guys' heads aren't in the right spot, then the team won't perform up to expectations. Maybe we saw some of that early in the season in Columbus, but it seems like right now chemistry is uh, is A plus for this club. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, you hear that a lot in baseball how important chemistry is, and I, I agree with that. Any good team that I've been on. Uh, guys love coming to the park every day. They they love to play the game together, and uh, you like hanging out with the guys after uh, after the game at the hotels on the road and, and, and that kind of thing. Your bus trips. Uh, you gotta like being around the guys that you're with for uh, for six months. So and, uh, I think the team that we have now, uh, we we definitely have that kind of chemistry, and I, I think that stems from the success that the Clippers have had the last couple of years. You know, uh, being back to back national champions. You have. Uh, Guys that have been on those teams that uh, know what to expect here. They know they know how to how to play for Sarby and 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 Mike too. Mike Rubin and, and Phil being in this organization and uh, having the success that they've had. Um, it's remarkable to think about what the Clippers did the last two years, and and I think we're going to put ourselves in a good position to do that again this year. Obviously, a lot of excitement here in Columbus when you came to the organization with the possibility that you would play some games at Huntington Park. But as we looked at your numbers, last year was the best season of your pro career. So what happened last year that sort of took your game to the next level? Uh, you know, I think it was just uh, overall confidence in myself. It was my first year in AAA, and I had a similar start. You know, I was kind of cold in the beginning of the year and, uh, you know, just tried to take the pressure off myself and, and have fun. I mean, uh, like I said earlier, I think I'm one of those guys where if I'm not trying to do too much of the plate and I'm not thinking too much, I'm going to be successful. But anytime I start to fool myself and think that I'm a, a smart hitter up there, I usually dig myself into a pretty big hole. So, uh, now, you know, I was uh, I was on a good team last year and, and experienced a lot of success. And, you know, I think that uh, that definitely raised my confidence. I uh, had a couple good weeks and, and it took off from there. Defensively, you're always at one of the corners, whether it be first or third or right or left. Where, in Russ Kanzler's mind, are you best defensively? You know what? I don't even know anymore. Uh, I, I, I can't tell you. Uh, at some point in my career, it might have been third base. Uh, at, at some point in my career, I would have told you I was the most comfortable at first. And, and as of late, I, I feel very comfortable in the outfield. Um, so I, I feel like it's, it's my job every day to come to the park and to make sure that I polish all four of those positions in, in any way I can, take some grounders at first, third, take some fly balls in left and right, and, and just make sure that I'm ready for whatever Sarby will have me in the lineup for that day. And it's really advantageous as a player to, to be able to play those different positions because you're not one-dimensional in an organization's view. If there's an opening at some, you know, even at the big league level, at third base, left, if, if you show you can you can hold your own over there and they feel comfortable with your bat, you might give yourself an opportunity to be up in the big league sooner than later. Well, keep it up here in AAA, and I know that opportunity is coming. Russ, thanks for taking some time with us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Russ Kanzler with us here at Huntington Park in Columbus. Back to you guys.